Welcome everybody to Linux Academy. My name is Terry and over this course we will be covering all things Linux. Introduction to installation and setup. Welcome everybody to Linux Academy's course all about Linux. We're going to cover a number of different topics over the course of the next 18 or 19 videos that will prepare you to install, configure, and use Linux whether it's on your desktop or your server. We will cover basic topics I encourage you to visit linuxacademy.com if you see any topic that tickles your fancy that you'd like to explore in more technical depth. So during the course over the next several videos, we're going to be covering everything related to Linux. We'll, we'll start off with a brief history of Linux, including uh, talking a little bit about Linus Torvalds, the person who invented Linux, which happens to be an offshoot of the old Unix systems that were predominantly in use uh, in the military, on business systems, and in schools at the time. The next course we'll be talking about different distributions. Distributions are flavors of Linux, and those flavors come in two main varieties, Debian and RPM-based distributions. We'll talk about the major players, a few of the historical versions, and where they ended up. After that, we'll talk about server versus desktop. What is it that you're going to want to use Linux for? Why will you use a server versus a desktop distribution? And what the differences are between them? We'll also cover the difference between long-term support distributions or the latest distribution. And then we'll get into specifics about Ubuntu. Ubuntu being the most common at least desktop distribution if not necessarily the most common server distribution but we'll be talking about how you would install Ubuntu whether it's on your physical system you're going to install it direct to your hard drive or we'll show you how to install it in a virtual system using VirtualBox or VMware. Next we'll talk about how we set up dual booting so that your Linux system can li live hand in hand with your Ubuntu system We'll set it up so that you, you can follow the same process on a physical system or a virtual system since those uh, processes are exactly the same. And we'll show you how to set it up so that you can choose either to boot Ubuntu or Windows when you boot the system. Next, we'll be talking about proprietary drivers. Proprietary drivers are those drivers for your video card, your sound card, etc. Uh, items that don't necessarily come with open source support. We'll talk a little bit about what open source is versus propri proprietary drivers, what the differences are, why, why some distributions like them, why some don't, and those that work well and don't work well. Next, we'll talk about in Ubuntu, what are the top things that you would want to do on your desktop or your server uh, depending on what your use is, but what are the top things that you would want to do? Installing third-party utilities or repositories, video codecs, etc. We'll walk through how to do some of those items and how to set up your desktop for your use. After that, we will talk specifically about how to update Ubuntu and how to add third-party repositories so that you can install third-party software from other locations other than those provided directly from Ubuntu. And then we'll talk about the desktop. In the case of Ubuntu 12 and, and uh, over, the default desktop is Unity. Unity is a departure from the GNOME or KDE desktops that you may have seen uh, in the past, and GNOME being the default desktop for Ubuntu prior to Unity's development. We'll talk about uh, Unity and why the decision to move to it was controversial. Then we'll talk about how do we customize Unity. How can we make a few setting changes that, uh, that change the behavior of the desktop system and how it works. Next we'll talk about how do we, if we want to use GNOME, how do we use GNOME in Ubuntu. GNOME has gotten uh, quite a, a facelift since it was the default desktop flavor for a number of distributions. So we'll talk about some of that and we'll show how to install, configure, and use GNOME. We'll follow that up by how do we customize GNOME. Much like Unity, there are a number of things that we can do both from a settings and a look and feel perspective that make it behave a little more user friendly. Then we'll talk about our good old standby KDE4. KDE4 has come a long way since uh, the, the user interface was changed 
quite a bit from KDE 3. It's now ready for prime time and is the default distribution desktop for a couple of distributions and it is the one that I use most pro predominantly on my desktop. And then finally from desktops we'll talk about customization. There's a large number of customizations that you can add to KDE from themes to desktop widgets making it look and behave exactly the way that you want it to. Then we'll move on to gaming in Linux. Yes, it is really possible and quite fun. With the, the recent launch of Steam on Linux, although they do not make all of their games available for Linux, a large number of them, including several prime time players like Portal and Left 4 Dead 2, happen to work very well on Linux. We'll talk about that and we'll also talk a little bit about Wine. Then we'll move on to office applications. What kind of office applications would we what we need to get work done every day in Linux? We'll talk about word processors, email, browsers, FTP, and any other office applications that you would use to work or manage on a daily basis. And then finally, we'll talk about running Windows apps. When we, you absolutely positively have to run Windows because there's no substitute for a Windows application not available anywhere else, a good example would be Visio. Visio does not have a, a good candidate for replacement in Ubuntu or any other distribution. We'll talk about how can we run Windows apps either on our desktop or through a virtual machine. Next we'll talk about some basic user management. How can I add, change, or remove users from the existing system in Ubuntu? Where those items are and what you have to keep in mind when setting up users. Then we'll talk about basic file and directory management. Where are all my files? Where are my system files? What's in my home directory and why does it exist there? We'll look at how to explore the directory st structure on our system and what pathing is. And then finally, we'll talk about upgrade Ubuntu. When should we do the upgrades? How do we follow the upgrade path that Ubuntu offers? What's the difference between upgrading between long-term support versions? And what is that upgrade lifecycle? So that's it for our introduction. Let's get on to the videos. My name is Terry for Linux Academy, brought to you by Pinehead TV.